<clears throat> Come in. Hi, I'm Sydney. Hey, I'm Shane Stapleton. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, Shane. <clears throat> well, Shane, tell me a little bit about yourself. How, how, how would your, um, how would your old coworkers and your past supervisors describe you? Um. Well, let's see. I've mainly been working in the restaurant industry since I was 21. Um, I've learned to like really multitask very efficiently. I'm also a very hard worker. I have a great work work ethic. I've never once called in sick. Wow, <laughs> impressive. Um, <clears throat> I mean, I'm also very patient though. In the restaurant industry, you have to deal with customers all the time. Right have to fix problems, so you have to have patience. Right. Okay, so so what would you consider some of your greatest strengths besides patience? Besides patience, um, and my work ethic. <laughs> oh, let's see. Um, I mean, I'm always willing to learn to uh, improve myself. It's both, a good thing. Both in the workforce and outside. Okay. Anytime I have a question, I instantly start looking it up, try to learn about it. Um, as far as weaknesses go, probably that's one I don't think about too often. <laughs> but um, honestly, I can't think of any. Okay, <laughs> that's all right. <laughs> Those are some very good strengths, though. Um, well, Shane, tell me, where do you want to be in about three to five years? Three to five years? I would very much like to be working somewhere in the technology field. Okay. Since I'm a, I'm a business management major, um, but I also have a very creative side to me. How so? Well, since I was in the seventh grade, I've been playing the guitar, writing music, um, in high school, I started, I started getting into the computer software development classes, and it just pretty much <laughs> allows me to ex expand, um, expand my imagination. Okay. And they, like through computers and everything, I can create what I want to create. I'm visualizing in my head. Okay, creativity is definitely. Um, a very a very important aspect to have so I really like that um, now tell me how would you personally describe yourself are you more like an ocean or a mountain and why <coughs> I'm more like an ocean just because I'm a very type of uh, go the flow type of guy if something comes my way then I don't freak out about it. I I deal with it, deal with it in a in a timely manner. I don't I don't just automatically react. I think about things before okay. I do it. Okay. That is a very good aspect. And I think that kinda goes along with the patience too, so that's that's great qualities. Um let's see, now tell me Shane. Um, what is one area or one thing in which you would like to gain more experience or improve professionally? Really anything that has to do with technology. Okay. I mean, I, I love it and that's, that's my passion. Okay. So any type of work that involves with learning more about it and just ex exceeding my goals. Awesome. Okay. And what major problem have you encountered and, and how did you deal with it? Major problem? Let's see. I mean, there's always work problems at my job. Okay. There's, as a server, you deal with people that they'll get food late. They'll, they'll be undercooked, overcooked. They're constantly having to deal with problems, even though you yourself might not have caused them. Okay. But everything still comes back around to you. <coughs> right. And you're the one to blame. So you have to deal with it in a way that satisfies the customer 
but you also don't get emotionally, um, I don't know. Emotionally mostly, involved yeah, in the situation? Yeah, emotionally involved. You don't okay. start freaking out, mm -hmm. get angry, upset, and sometimes you have to deal with it in a way, in a way that may go beyond your mm -hmm. limitations. You'll have to go to your manager, which is perfectly fine. Right. You have to go to your manager, speak to them, say, hey, can you work something out for me? This table is is not very happy at all. Can we maybe give them half off on an appetizer or something? Mm-hmm. Okay. So basically, you know your limits. You know when you need to take care of something yourself, and you know when it's time to actually step in and figure it out with someone above you. That's correct. So that's that's some good aspects. Um <laughs> Now, Shane, let me ask you, um, <coughs> excuse me, how would you handle a committee situation where members couldn't, couldn't agree um, on a resolution of a major issue between committee? I couldn't agree on a resolution. If you, okay. were, if you were in charge, how would you handle a situation among members? Well, I mean, I would start asking people why they felt a certain way. Um, I mean, we have to go ahead and get all the different views about the current situation out on the floor. So you think about every possible, every possible outcome, every possible little aspect of the situation. Okay. I like that. I like that answer. I like how you like to get to the, the root of the issue. So I like the way you think. Um, <coughs> let's see. Now, Shane, tell me, why should you get this job? What's so special about you? Why do you deserve this job? Why do I deserve this job? Because I'm a very hard worker. I mean, I'm just now graduating out of college. Um, I have a lot and a lot of patience. I am more than capable of handling any type of problem that arises. And I promise that I'll always want to shoot after my goals. I'll always want to want to go ahead. If there's some kind of work that's due, then I'll be sure to make it done, get it done in time. And it will it'll be just fantastic. Okay. <laughs> all right. And you sound you sound pretty honest in all of that. Um, I do like how you have never called in to work before. That's a huge, huge um, quality. So now, <laughs> give me three reasons um, that you would actually not accept this position if it were offered to you. What are three reasons that you would decline this position? Um, well, one would be, I haven't figured out the different health benefits from your company. Okay. That's a major thing to maybe is I'm about to turn 26, which is when you're, you're automatically taking off your parents' um, insurance. Okay. So that's the major thing. So you're thinking ahead. I like that. Yes. Um, second thing would be the, what type of job would it be? Would it be, you know, some, some type of very repetitive type of work? Or can I express myself in doing multiple things? And like I said, I love I love um, being able to create things, use my imagination. I love going thinking out of the box. Okay, much. I love that. Awesome. <coughs> um, well, our interview is actually drawing to a close now. Um, so, Shane, do you have any questions for me? Um, not currently, but if I do, then I will be sure to give you a call or send an email. Okay, awesome. Well, thank you so much, Shane, for coming. It was a pleasure meeting you. Thank you very much. Appreciate All it. right, absolutely. And um, I'll stay in touch with you within the next week, okay? All right, thank you very much. All right. Thank you.